All right, what's up everyone? Grand Diesel here, back at you again. I hope everyone is doing okay today. It's Tuesday, as usual. Huh. The weather is very cloudy today. It looks like today, I'm definitely gonna be caught in the rain. But that's okay, that's why I have my jacket on today. That's number one. Number two, I have no problem, you know, getting caught in the rain besides getting wet because my entire system is uh, waterproof, so I'm not worried in any ways. So, thank you so much for joining me for this brand new episode that I'm gonna put it together. It's going to be very, very, very interesting today, so just buckle up and grab some popcorn and lay back. And especially if you are Harley Davidson Sportster S owner, today is going to be your day because, let me open this up a little bit, all right, it's a little hot, because um, I'm going to be going over all my mods that I have, or uh, I've done to this bike so far, I want to share with you, uh, maybe you can um, just copy it. Oh, if you already have it, maybe you can add some more. You can share your thought. Whatever you have on your bike. Um, yeah, this is basically, you know, we are learning together. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be going over all the modifications that I have on this bike. And um, hopefully um, we all can learn together. And if you have something that I don't have, Maybe you can share with me and I can add it to it. But at this point, I think all the mods that I really want on this bike is uh, pretty much complete. Uh, no doubt. The only thing or the only mod that I really want to do is um, upgrade the exhaust, which I already have the one that I wanted in, in mind. But it's, it's kind of a little bit pricey for me. And I need all the justification in the world to convince myself that it's worth upgrading. Because as much as I love this bike, the sound kills me, man. Like when you see this bike in person, it looks very, very, very mean. And then once you start it, it's not as loud as um, it's supposed to be, or it's supposed to sound like, at least with the look of the, a bike like this. So I'm gonna go over all the mods that I have today, um, with the exception of my, uh, the, uh, the muffler. I'm not saying it's not good. I love it, I love the sound, and actually, the neighborhood that I live in is a very decent place and I really don't want to bother my neighbors. Although, I have few neighbors that uh, have Harleys. Uh, you guys have heard me saying it uh, in my previous videos. Um, my neighbor Eric, I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name. He's got two uh, Harleys in his garage and I believe um, one Honda. And they are big bikes and they sound very mean and the old fashioned Harley Davidson, you know. But this one, it's a brand new bike. It's a black, uh, brand new platform that uh, Harley created, uh, 2021. The Revolution Max engines, which you can find in um, the Pan America. The Nystar and the Sportster S. These machines are beasts. If you know, you know. But one thing that they lack, I don't, I don't even want to say they lack. That, that is just the way it sounds like because all of these bikes are liquid cool. So that's how it was just made, you know? So I can't even say they lack. That is just 
the um, aesthetics part of the bike and that's how we came with you know so if you want to make it sound a little bit mean uh, there are several ways you can do it uh, I've heard people removing their muffles or uh, the muffle inside the um, exhaust and some people just you know change their uh, exhaust all over you know and uh, so far I've done a lot of research and uh, so far the one that I'm actually down with is the um, the Cobra exhaust. Um, I like the um, the TBR Two Brothers Racing. I love them as well. They're very very reasonable, uh, reasonably priced. I think uh, I start from 800, 850, 900, which is okay. Um, but the only reason why I don't want to go with that exhaust is because. Um, I wanted to be able to use the same heat shield that I have on the bike which uh, if I don't forget I'll show you guys later and with the Cobra exhaust uh, it will allow you to um, use the same uh, heat shield that you know the plastic one that came with it um, I think it brings a little bit character to the bike and that's what I really really want to do but um and I've seen uh, Zod, Zod exhaust as well. Uh, they're pretty loud. They sound very good. And 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 most of these exhausts you can only find them in uh, Europe, which is another story, you know. So um, shout out to you all, European people. Lucky you. Hey. But Zod also sound very good. They have, they have plenty, plenty, you know, but the one that I really, really want and like the sound is the, um, the Cobra, which I really want to um, upgrade to that one. So, like I said, pretty much all the mods that I think, I think, because I don't see anything else that I really want on this bike, I think that I need on, on the bike is pretty much done. So today we're gonna go over, but uh, if I do see something that actually cut my eye, I'm probably gonna, you know, redo it or try it, you know, whatever the case is. So um, I'm gonna find a very safe place for us to uh, park so we can go over these mods and, you know, take it from there. But. Like I said, today it looks like I'm going to be caught in the rain. Um, I'm, I'm not worried. I'm only worried because uh, I don't want to get wet. And on top of that, I have my jacket with me. So that should, um, should, should make a little difference. <laughs> it should make a little difference, but I really don't want to get wet. And I, I want to make this video because there's a lot of few ideas that I have in mind that I want to share with you guys as uh, we all grow this community. Um, I have a few ideas that I want to share. Some are uh, very, very controversial, which I know many of you guys may not like it. For example, the one that I just did about uh, two weeks ago in regards to um, bikes and guns. And I have a very good, I had a very good reaction on that. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of views, but one of my uh, subscribers made a comment, very, very, very good comment on there, which I can say that uh, he probably convinced me to start carrying. And there's another comment on there too, you know? Um, and that's the, that's the whole point of making these videos, you know? Uh, anything that I put out here, it's my idea, it's my experience, what I've experienced, what I've been through, you know. That doesn't mean it's the best, so you have to go with what I say. No, no, that is not what this is about, you know. This is about me sharing my ideas, what I have. We're going to stop here at the International Park today, right there. Um, this is just my idea, so... If, if, if I put up a video out there and you don't agree you, or you have some kind of opinion that may help me, you just just bring it along and, um, you know, we learn together. 
it, it, it's just that simple but it looks like sometimes some people just take it so hard and they say some stuff mean comments and all that which really don't bother me trust me <laughs> I have a very thick skin so um, some of the comment that people make and stuff like that it really don't bother me in any way yeah I have a very 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 thick skin believe it or not so um, with that being said if you make any comment and it's very uh, you critique it in a very constructive way I will accept it and then modify it you know so yeah it doesn't mean that um whatever that I say is you know this is just my opinion and and things that I've uh, experienced I'm trying to find a very nice place to park um, how about uh, how about here how about here guys yeah yep how about here yep let me turn around by the way this is the international park here in uh, in Georgia if you live around here you know exactly where, uh, where it is so um, yeah I think uh, we're gonna do this here okay uh, a couple things that I want to do oh, 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 don't go nowhere um, maybe I should turn the bike around right so we can face there the little water slide over there what do you guys think or just leave it like that all right um, yeah we're gonna leave it like that and let me go ahead and adjust this camera right here let me adjust this camera right here yep so um, I can uh, only use one camera for this special occasion there you go all right so I'm gonna adjust this camera right here now this is the bike that I'm talking about it's a 2023 Harley Davidson Sportster S now I have my handy dandy um, tripod here I'm gonna uh, transform into a tripod okay so I can really show you guys this now if you guys remember when I was doing my unboxing of the um, the Action 4 I showed you guys this this right here it's a quick release and I want to show you guys the magic on how this thing works I'm pretty sure you guys know but I want to show you how easy it is to you know to um, move it from one camera to another okay if you're watching me from here look how easy it is I just pop it off and then pop it on okay that's how easy it is you know if you have the old um, mountain point of the go either the GoPro like all these um, uh, action cams or you know like some, one of these I hope you can see it you got to take your time and then screw it and you know this is just grab and go okay you see how I just grab it and then just put it on there that's exactly what it is so we're gonna go over the mods that I have on this bike and this is 2023 looking good in all its glory let's uh, do a, a quick 360 okay how do you like that yeah it looks very mean like I told you guys this look extremely mean look at it look at it just, just just look at that okay so today like I said we're gonna go over the mods that I have on this bike so far and um, it's 2023 Harley Davidson Sportster S when I picked it up from the dealership it had only three miles on there that was a year and a half it's going on two years right now at this point it's approaching almost 5,000 miles so I do have my 5,000 mile um, service coming up pretty soon which I'm gonna go get it done it's getting hot in here so <laughs> let me just loosen up a little bit um, so I picked it up and the very first mod that I have guys I don't have everything in my head but I'm gonna try my best to um, you know um, 
remember, I mean, as we go, okay? I'm gonna start from the front to the back, okay? So, the mirrors, you see how the mirrors are um, upside down? Those were the first mods that I did, right from, straight from the dealership. Um, before I pulled out, I told the, um, the, uh, the dealers to get me one of the techs to, you know, flip it upside down for me. And they did. But they didn't, they didn't even do it very well. Now, guys, I should have said it before I even started the video, but a quick disclaimer, I am not a professional mechanic. Or I'm, I am not a mechanic, simply, I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a, a guy who loves to ranch, who's a handy guy, jack of all trade, master of, I don't know, none. I am master of some, but not everything that I am master of, okay? Um, I love to ranch. Um, I, I, I work with a, a friend of mine in a mechanic shop for like almost a year and a half. I was apprenticeship for um, HVAC. So I'm a handy guy, so I know how to do stuff. I work on my cars. I do a basic uh, PM on my cars. You know, when um, if I have the tools, I can do it. And if I don't have it, I just outsource it, get a mechanic to get it done for me. So I'm not a mechanic. I just know how to do stuff. Okay, so let me get out of the way. So, number one, what's up? Number one, I flip up this mirror and he didn't even do it well. He was like, oh no, I don't think you can do it like that. Um, and you can't see anything. I said, sir, just leave the damn thing on there for me. So he left it there. I wrote, I wrote about almost one hour from the dealership to my house. I couldn't see a damn thing on that until I got home and I took my stuff and I fixed it. So that mirror was free upgrade and it has been like that ever since. So that was the first one um, that I did. I'm not gonna go like first one, I'm gonna go from, from the front to the back, okay? Okay, the next mod that I have, let me see, let me see. This crush guard here, I got it from eBay. I think a uh, hundred dollars or um, I don't know, less than 150, I know for sure. I got it from eBay. I wanted the, um, the actual crush guard that comes on the Harley, but um, honestly speaking, I think aesthetically, it, it didn't look good to me. You know, it's all like shaped up, you know. I, I, I didn't like it. But at the same time, I needed a crush guard. So I did a lot of research. I came across these and they look good. You know, I mean, um, these are all like screw on. You can screw it up and then put some stuff in. Um, it looks good. I think it looks good on there. Okay. So that was the, um, another one that I did. And I'm going to see if I can put a link to all these mods that I have on the bike under the, uh, the description below. Okay. So if you want to follow the same thing, it will be here. So that's that. And the third one that I have on there is this right here. This is the Radiator Guard. Like I said earlier, this bike is a, it's a liquid cool. So it has, um, that's why I have so much power on it. It's a liquid cool and it has an antifreeze in there just like a, a regular car, okay? So this is very, very exposed like super, super, super exposed. And as you know, look at the, uh, the mud flap that I have here, it's very small. So you can imagine how many stuff can go in there. And once you hit this and you get a leak in there, you're done. You're gonna have to get this towed and get it replaced, okay? Ooh, I have so much love here. I hope you guys will all subscribe. Come ask me what kind of channel is that? Rather than just waving out. <laughs> They're just waving at me. All right. Shall we continue? We shall. So, I bought this. Um, I believe I bought it on Amazon. I think it's um, Kemi Motors. Or, oh, uh, no, it's not. This is the name of it. This is the name. But like I said, I'm gonna try to see if I can um, uh, find all the links and I'll put in the description, okay? And these are very super easy. If you know how to wrench, you can do it. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. So that's um, that one right there, the radiator guard, okay? And from looking at the front, do you guys see anything missing? 
If you do, leave it in the comment below. All right. Come on, leave it in the comment below. Before I start, I'll tell you. Uh, I bet you don't even know, or you don't even notice it. All right. The next model that I did, remember those bug eye turning signals that we have here and there? It's gone. You don't even know if I have a turning signal on there, do you? All right, these are the turning signals that I have on there. Like one and two. These are from Cutland, USA. I love these turning signals because they have a DRLs on there. You guys know what a DRL is, right? They have it on there and I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see. I have never had any issue in the state that I live in as far as compliance, like uh, a police officer is gonna stop me and say that, hey, uh, where's your turning signal or that? No, I have zero issue. And uh, remember, all this mod will determine the state that you live in if you are in compliance. Some state will not allow you to put it on, some will, but I got it from Cutline USA. But to be honest with you guys, the one that came, you know, the bug eye one that came with the bike, I think it looks very good. To me, it looks very good because it brings a little character to the bike, you know, but I, since I'm doing modification, I'm like, you know what, and every, you know, so bike, it's like, a, 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 especially with a Sposter S, it's like a, a blank canvas and you just, you just do as you please. Okay, so I said, you know what, let me just take it off. And everything that I have on this bike that I uh, replace it or upgraded it, I still have it in the house. And all these are plug and place. I don't know why I'm breathing like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm so tired. But anyway, let me turn it on so you guys can see how, you know, it looked like. Look at that. They have a DRLs, daytime running light. You see how they are white? If I turn the turning signal, look at that. It's concealed. You can't even see, you, you will not even know if I, if I don't tell you that I have a turning signal on there. But it is, all right? That's so beautiful. All right, moving up. This is a phone holder from Kemi Motors. Um, this one, I really don't use it because the kind of phone that I have, which is this one right here, the iPhone 12 Max, I'm getting ready to get a, uh, the new 16 in about a week because um, at this point, our pool is uh, flooding right now. You guys know whenever a new product come out and I didn't want to upgrade until the new 16 comes out. So that's exactly what I'm waiting for in a day. So I'm about to upgrade, but the phone is too big and it cannot fit in here. So after I mounted, I realized it wasn't fitting and um, I didn't want to return it because I like the look. So I just went ahead and then left it on there. So that is the Kemi Moto phone holder. Now my best phone holder that I have in the whole entire world is this one right here. This is called Peak Design right here. Again, I'm gonna see if I can leave all these um, links right there so you guys can follow. But check this out. This is my phone holder. You see, this is my phone holder. I mean, my phone case, and that's the phone holder. All it has is this little cutout right here. And it has some mechanism in here. The engineer behind this is so, it's pretty much the same like the camera. The, the way I, you know, I took the camera off and put it on, the same technology, very, very similar. But these little pins here, it, it kind of uh, locks in, in place and it has a magnet on top of that and it's not going nowhere. On top of that, you can use this as a regular phone holder and look how slick it looked like. And this is the only phone holder that I've, I've had that I've never ever had any issue. I've used so many phone holders and I mean phone cases, I don't know why I say phone holder, I'm sorry, phone cases. And over time you see that all these um, part of the phone uh, cases are stretching out and they look ugly and 
this is holding up like I've, I, before I came, I dropped the phone. And I've dropped 20 min, million times, no scratch, no dent. I don't know the kind of material they use on here. But guys, my new iPhone 16, I've already ordered one and I'm gonna put it on there. This is extremely versatile and they have so many accessories that you can buy with it and then use with it, okay? Watch the way it's gonna snap on there. Just like that. I know they have a quad lock. Well, I don't wanna say no names, but I know they have a quad lock and many, many other ones. This is the one that I like. There's nothing wrong with other ones. This is what I prefer. Look at the way I took it off. It's, it's, it's like magic. It's like magic. You, if you wanna take, and it's not going anywhere. If, if I wanna take it off, all I gotta do, there's a button here. Let me see if I can show you guys. There's a, you see this button? There you go. You push that button, both sides, and then it releases. It, it's so perfect. And I'm gonna be using another one with my new uh, phone that I'm getting, okay? So, that is that. Peak Design phone holder and Kemimoto phone holder. There's another one that I'm, I almost forget about. Is this one right here. As you guys can see this bike, after mounting what I have on here, there is not a whole lot of room to mount my camera. You see what I'm talking about? There's not a whole lot of room to mount this camera. So, Kemimoto, I think, they need to start sponsoring me. I know I'm very small channel, but uh, we get in there, okay? Um, I bought this. This, it's a very smart technology that they created, okay? All you gotta do is remove the original cover on there and slap this on there and tighten it up. It does not affect the integrity of this bike. It gives you a free room for you to mount pretty much anything that you want to mount on here and keep yourself going. How clever is that? So pretty much this was a waste, waste space on the bike and they came up with this brilliant idea. They made this and that's it. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And you can't even tell. Anytime I go to the dealership, they want to take this back from me, by the way. They were like, oh, you need to trade it and get it. I said, listen, I don't need nothing. <laughs> they, they want me to trade the bike. I said, no, because each time that I go there, they see something, they be like, how did you do this? What happened to this? What? You know, they keep asking questions. But anyway, that is that. I almost forget about it. Shout out to um, Kemi Motors. Another one right here. This is the tank. I don't even know how they call it. It's a tank bag or whatever. This is another one from Kemi Motors. Install this, put your stuff on there, put your lunch. Ooh, I have a phone call coming. Put your lunch, or whatever you want to put, you know. It's like a little storage right here. Kemi Motors, man. Amazing company right there. I bought this glove too from Kemi Motors. <laughs> now the only thing that I don't like about these gloves is um, the Velcro is very weak, as you guys can see. I mean, I've had it for quite some time and the Velcro is very weak. So I keep, you know, I think I can modify it and uh, put a new Velcro on there. I can do it very easily, but you know, that's the only thing that I, 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 I took the photos, sent it to them and show them like, hey, look what happened to my gloves. Kemi Motors asked me no questions. They sent me a brand new uh, gloves and I have it in the house. I just happened to use the old one. So shout out to Kemi Motors once again. I have this right here, the, the wild man, the swing arm bag. This is very, very slick. I have two, one on this side and one on that side, okay? What I do is I, I store my basic stuff in there, you know, like um, I have my pump and some very, very minor tools in there. Um, I wanted to buy the big ones here, but I think it changed the aesthetics of the bike. Unless there's a kind of look that you want to go for, I think it changes it. So I, I went with these little ones and um, they look very good. I mean, I don't travel and if I do, I'll just get me um, a backpack. 
All right? So I have two of them. Again, I will see if I can leave it. I will leave the link down below. And uh, this, I have my cables and um, some zip tags and, you know, basic stuff just in case um, st something happened on the road. Um, I have the basic uh, seat that came with it. Most people complain about it. I have zero complaint about this seat. I've ridden this bike for three hours. I feel no fatigue. It's just perfect for me. All right, moving up. This right here, again, is from Kemi Motors. I think it's a seat rag or something like that, they call it. But um, it makes it look different. That's one. Number two, you can use this as a storage. You know, if you are, perfect example. I don't have anything in, um, if I need more room here, I just use the bag. And they have a bag actually that comes with it that you can mount it in the back and then use it as a storage. Again, I don't want anything back there, not even a, uh, a pillion seat or passenger seat, whatever they call it, because it, it just changed the dynamics of the bike, period. I bought this for me and me alone. If I want to ride with a passenger, it's, it's not going to be on this bike. It's going to be another bike, not this one. So this, Kemi Motors, and these are all very, very easy to install, okay? Now let's come to the back. If you look on the back here, when, when you first buy the bike, there is a big license plate that goes around it here. Um, it doesn't look that bad, but most people don't like it. And I sure didn't like it because I want to make it my own. So I did my own research and again, Kemi Motors, look at that. Look at how slick it looks like. Everything is very slick, it's very concealed, and it looks so good. Again, they did that for compliance purposes, so they can pass all these emissions and all that kind of stuff, so they can uh, ship these bikes to us as consumers, so we can buy them. And after you receive them, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do to the bike. And that's exactly what I did to the bike. So I went to Kemi Motors. They call it a rail license plate delete or rail fender delete, whatever they call it. But I, 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 again, I bought it and I took it apart, installed it. And boom, I have my license plate here. And then I have this here. It looks so nice and slick. All right. And let me see if I'm forgetting about anything. Those letters in there, in the rims, I got it from my eBay. Um, very simple. I, I want to rip it off, if, you know, if I could. But um, yeah. Another thing, the original color for the bike is black. It came in black, but I wanted to wrap it to protect the paint and I didn't want to paint it. So um, I went to Amazon, bought this wrap, and then wrapped it. But when it came, I wanted a black, like I wanted a, like a pitch black. So when it came, it was this color. It's a dark gray charcoal, whatever they call it. And I was very upset. I was going to return it. So I started wrapping the back first. And when I took it to work, my coworker came to me. They were like, whoa, this looks very sick. And I said, yeah, I know that. But that's not the right color that I wanted. He said, what are you talking about? I said, I wanted black. He's like, man, this is a perfect color because it brings, oh, this camera, what happened? Stop recording. All right, I don't know what stop recording means. I think maybe it's uh, overheating. Oh, the storage, insufficient storage. <laughs> oh man, I wish I have uh, extra storage. That means I'm not gonna record anything going back home. Ooh, that sucks. I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. 
yeah i've been recording for quite some time and i'm recording in 8k on that so yes that, that makes sense that makes sense i only had a 30 something minutes so i've been talking here for god knows so anyway let's move on so I was gonna return it, uh, return it, and my friend was like, "No, don't do it because it's it's different. If you if you make it black, and you don't have no accent in there, it can actually make it makes it ugly. So leave it like that." And I'm like, "Okay, actually, you make you make sense." So this I wrapped it last week. I did it. I did all these wrap myself, with exception of the tank. I tried wrapping the tank. It did not come out very good because of the curvatures, you know? So that didn't come out very good and um, I was super upset and disappointed in myself. But again, you can do everything for yourself. You know, somebody gotta, somebody gotta eat. So I paid somebody to get this done for me just last week. Um, and even with that, I was looking at it and I see the, uh, the bottom was ripping off or something. I'm like, wow, even mine, I've done this for only God knows. I haven't seen anything wrong with it. <sighs> oh, well, that's why I like to do my stuff, you know? So I wrap all of that and I wrap, oh, uh, you know, these, um, there is a reason why I have uh, the blue thin line here, which I will tell you guys, maybe not video, not this video, the next video, let me see. Okay. I'll see if I can tell you guys the reason why I have that uh, blue thin line on there, okay? But the last mod that I wanna share with you guys is this right here. You can't even tell. Can you tell if there's something here? Something strange? No. This right here. This is a Denali sound bomb split. Guys, I'm gonna make a video. Like I told you, I have so many ideas that I'm gonna make a video, a separate video on that. So just stay tuned for that. Now, somebody may ask me, what is a sound bomb or whatever it is? I can't tell you. I have to demonstrate for you to see or for you to hear exactly what it is. So I hope you're ready. But please, before I do so, I want you to close your ears. Or be very careful, warning, it may cause damage or it can cause damage to your ears. I wanna demo, I can't tell you what it is. Maybe you haven't heard the name or you've heard the name, you don't know what it is. I have to show you, I have to demonstrate and show you. Are you ready? One, two, three. You hear that? It's an air horn. <laughs> you wanna hear that again? All right, please. One, two, three. <laughs> yes, that's an air horn right there. And while I have the ignition on, I'm gonna turn on the turning signal in the back. So, well, let me put um, the emergency hazard so you can see, look at it. That's how it looks like, okay? So this concludes all the modifications that I have on this bike. Look at it, it looks very nice, it looks very sexy, and it looks very slick and mean at the same time. This is what I was talking about. The only mod that I wanted to do on this bike is this pipe here. Like I said, I already found one, which is the Cobra Exhaust. That damn thing is very, very, very expensive. So I'm still <laughs> debating, and this don't sound very bad at all. It sounds okay. Uh, it's loud, it sounds okay, but I want some, look, if, like you're looking at this, this is a mean looking bike, and you need a mean looking sound attached to it. That's exactly what I need. And that's my only, mod that I think I have left here. Um, I did a lot of work to this bike as far as removing the tank and all that. I'm gonna do a, a, spe a separate video. So if, if there's anything that you wanna know how I did it, just leave a comment down below, shoot me a message, whatever. I did all this myself. I can go over and help you, you know, 
I can do video on how to do it, okay? This is the heat shield that I was talking about. This bike can get hot. Trust me, it can get hot. And this heat shield actually, you know, uh, protects you from burning. Even though if you, you have it on there, I still got burned, <laughs> believe it or not. It burns me every once in a while. I don't know where, but something burns me here. But this is a heavy plastic that will save you. And I don't want to use the TBR exhaust because if you use a TBR exhaust, you cannot use the same heat shield here. It has to be, you know, naked. And I don't think I like it. So that is one reason why I want to go with a Cobra. I know many other exhausts, you still can um, put it on there and some of them even come with their own carbon fiber and even it makes it more expensive. I'm not trying to spend too much money on that, really. So that is the only mod that I have left here that I want to do. So guys, you guys, this concludes the end of all the mods that I have on this bike. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment down below. And I will try my possible best to answer that question for you. Um, I'm going to take my time and put this video together and go over the, all the mods that I have and um, see if I can leave all the links below so that it can help you, you know, purchase it. I'm not affiliated with anybody because I'm not big. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. But I'm not affiliated with any, any of these guys. Um, but I love to share what I have, okay? Like I said, that big horn right there, I, have a, a, I will have a separate video because there's a problem, a user error, not a problem with it. This is my second one that I have on there. And trust me, if you're a biker, you need that. If it's not the same air horn, you need something very similar on your bike. And I have a video coming up very soon. So I don't think I'm missing anything. If I do, I'll put some um, test on the screen. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I'm, oh, and this magic arm. Um, I don't know, this is one of my camera gears, uh, the stuff that I have, it's, a, it's called magic arm. And then I use, you know, I have plenty of those, so I just use it to mount it and um, it works perfectly. But this actually came with its own mount that I used to mount my, um, my action camera on there. They, um, my camera B, my B cam, okay? But it's like this tall, very, very small. And this one, I wanted to stretch it out a little bit so I can get more. That's why I took it off and then put this on there, okay? But it came with its own mount. So, um, and this is a free mod that you can do. You don't have to pay any money for. Um, other than that, I don't think I'm missing anything. And if I do, or if you see anything on there that you have any questions, Again, just hit me up, and I'll be so glad to answer you, okay? I'm going to leave you in peace, love, and joy. So, Grand Diesel, right here at the International Park, signing off. Peace.